How's it going guys and welcome back to another episode of the AFC Wimbledon Road to Glory career mode. This is going to be episode number 27 of this series and if you have been enjoying this series so far make sure you show your support by leaving a like on the video. We continue to hit over 70 likes and if we can do the same on this episode that would be greatly appreciated. But in this episode we are going into the January transfer window. Hopefully in this episode I can implement a couple of you guys signings. And you suggested a lot of players in the last episode. The first player that was suggested is a pre-contract signing that I could make. And this guy is a Croatian centre-back called Niko Dakovic. The good thing about this guy is he's got 70-ish potential. I think it's between 70 and 80. He's got good potential and from what I've seen, he's got good stats as well. So obviously that does attract me quite a lot. He's going to be probably a replacement for Paul Robinson. I will look to sell him on in this window. So I will go ahead and give him a contract. Hopefully he does accept it and we'll have to wait and see what Dakovic says about this. Another player that was suggested is quite an interesting one actually. I'm not really too sure if we need another striker but Jordan Larson was suggested. The son of the legend Henrik and this guy again is a player that's on quite low wages but if I am going to pull this deal off I think it will be a swap deal. I'm thinking adding a Robert in a straight swap deal would be enough but I'm not really too sure if it will be enough. I've got a feeling they might reject this. Junior Stanislas was another player that was suggested for a pre-contract but weirdly enough I think he must have signed an extension. West Brom clearly have signed up Craig Dawson to a new contract because I believe his contract is meant to expire in 2017. Another Another player that was suggested isn't actually a real player, it's instead going to be a regenerated player of a player that used to be in the game. Here we have Drogba's regen and it's going to be Bubakar Yakonen and he's showing great potential which is good. Again if I am going to get this guy though it would have to be in a straight swap deal with Araba. The good thing about this guy is he's got 4 star skills. But one star weak foot, that is pretty pathetic. But now we do have the first game of the episode here and it is going to be against Berry, and this will actually be the FA Cup replay match. We ended up drawing in a four goal thriller, we ended up drawing 2-2 in that game. And now we're coming up against them with a bit of a weakened side, but I still think we've got the ability to get a win in this game. Is this one going to be taken to extra time or will we decide it in full time? We'll have to wait and see. Bit of a frustrating first half in this game. We've been playing well so far, but we certainly haven't been having the chances on goal. We've won the ball in a few dangerous areas, but really not too many chances in the game for either side. Hopefully that can change in the second half. We'll have to wait and see as Berry kick off for the second half. And now it's back to Baxendale. He holds on to it, and I see a really good run there by Ayama. And we're trying to cut inside. We keep on going. We're going to have a shot. It's blocked off, but that was really well played by Ayama there. And play the ball over the top. It's a good ball and a very good run by Ayama. And he keeps hold of it. He's going to have a shot as well, and it's a brilliant save. But Ayama's kept hold of it, and it's another shot blocked. And we still keep hold of it, and Ayama shoots again. And this time he scores, and that is a fantastic goal. I knew eventually if Ayama was going to have a shot on goal following this chance, it would be on target. And this one certainly was. That was an absolute rocket, actually. Into the top left-hand corner. A really nice goal there. And they get it back here, looking for an instant equaliser. And it's Hope with a burst of pace inside. And, yep, they do get an instant equaliser there. God's sake, what is it with me in conceding against Berry? In the last episode, when we played them, we conceded straight away from a header. And, again, it's deja vu right there. But that's going to be full time in this game. We end up drawing 1-1 and that's going to mean we're going to extra time in this match. Probably will make one change. I'm going to take off Tyler Walker. Being a bit a bit disappointing in this game. Not like in previous cup ties. Up here for Baxendale. Trying to get it through to Armstrong. Does very well. We need to find that switch pass. And we do. It's Barkham here going through on goal. He's going to have a shot. And it's a good save. It was a tight angle though. And now they have a free kick, 113 minutes in, they get the cross in, don't score from this, oh my god, they have scored, I hate Berry. how on earth can you lose your man there, I've got my two best defenders playing, and they just lose him like he's not even there, the keeper, oh, I, don't, I don't even know if he should have saved that or not. Maybe Roy Silver would have saved that, but either way, we're 2-1 down. We deserve to be winning this game. I don't even care what you say. It's just ridiculous. It's one of those BS games again where I deserve to be getting a win. This is a really big opportunity. They've got all men back, so it's going to be difficult to score from the corner. 
We'll get it in instead. So Yama. He's going to have a shot. Can he score? I think he has scored. Yes, he has. And it's drama here in the FA Cup. It's 2-2 again. We got a bit of BS ourselves this time. And thank God we did get it. You see Ayama cutting inside there. Having a shot. It comes off the defender. And only just goes in off the goalkeeper. Very, very lucky. Probably even more lucky than the other goal that they scored. Good win back. Frank Hume all the way up here. So Armstrong. And he's going to try and cut inside. He's done so well. Can he finish off the opportunity? Yes, he has. He's made it 3-2. And within a number of minutes, we brought this game back. And now we're in the lead. It had to be Armstrong, didn't it? Oh, wow. That is just a special goal. That really is a really important goal. And I think that's going to send us through to the next round of the FA Cup. That game right there just proves that you should never give up. You should never give up in a FIFA match. You never know what's going to happen. If you're 2-1 down, you're 3-1 down. Anything can happen, just like it's happened in this game. We scored two goals in the final three minutes of the game. And Ayama really did do well in that game. So after that game, we have a few transfer offers unacceptable. Unsurprisingly so. I think unless we sell a couple of players, it's unlikely that we're going to be making any signings. But clearly they're not interested in Araba. I will go ahead and offer 100,000 plus Araba. Otherwise, I just don't think we can go in for any of these deals. I've just noticed this player here, Hepburn Murphy. He could be a player that we could sign. His contract is running out at the end of this year, but I don't really know if he's a real player or not. He doesn't actually have a face, but he has a youth player face, so I'm guessing that he is a real player in real life, but we will make an offer. Che Adams is a player that I personally want to go in for. I think he would be a very, very good like-for-like -like replacement for Barkham. Very, very rapid, but also got good finishing and some good dribbling as well. It's only really a deal that I will go forward with if it's accepted in a straight swap deal. Otherwise, I'm just going to forget about it. I want to keep Barkham, but if I can get Che Adams in a swap deal, I think he would be good, even though he's three overall ratings lower. Now, the feeling that I had in the last episode was I would be willing to sell him for the right price. But in this episode, I've had a bit of a change of heart. I don't really want to sell him. Well, in that FA Cup game, he really did prove to me he is so vital to the team. I want to get him to the Premier League. I would like to bring Trey Adams to the club, but unfortunately at the moment, he's a bit out of our price range. So unfortunately, we're going to have to forget about him. And now we have the next game of the episode. It's coming up here against Leighton Orient in League One. We'll have to wait and see, though, how well we do in this game. Leighton Orient, a very good team. I think in real life, they've actually signed Kevin Nolan a former West Ham player as a player manager. So it will be interesting to see how they do for him. Now it's Harrison and he's really made a mistake there and it's 1-0 to Leighton Orient. Really poor defending there. I've just had a feeling that as soon as Harrison backed off his man, they get a bit of space and they ended up scoring. Yes, Jake Reeves. That's more like it. And a brilliant pass up here to Armstrong. And surely we can't miss this opportunity. We're going to have a shot. And he's fallen to Barkham. No way. He's somehow gone in. I can't believe that. I thought Barkham had messed it up with the first touch. But he's somehow ended up going into the back of the net. Finally, we score. Armstrong wasn't able to score there. I was a bit hesitant going at the near post. I cut inside, had a shot. Barkham got lucky there. He really did. Wow. Are you joking? Are you, are you actually joking me right now? Literally, that is the biggest pile of BS I've ever seen. I'm not even complaining here. But literally, it's perfect. That's why I'm, I'm just shocked more than anything. It's just perfectly rebounded to him. He's onside and he gets his second goal of the game. Through to Araba and out wide. Armstrong trying to find a good pass. Does so. And now it's Barkham. Can he find a bit of magic once again? He's going for a shot. And it falls to Armstrong. And Armstrong does put it into the back of the net from the rebound. We ended up being 2-1 behind in the other game. Obviously in the FA Cup against Berry. Can we pull off the same feat and get a comeback to maybe win this game? Obviously, it's another deflection goal, another rebound goal that we've scored in this game. So there we go. We can't stage another comeback to win this game. We end up getting a 2-2 draw against Leighton Orient, both times coming from behind to score an equaliser. But after that game, we see we have our first pre-contract offer accepted. Niko Dakovic looks like he will be joining the club. 
This guy does kind of remind me of Milo Savic or Valsvik, if you remember that far back anyway. He's a very, very strong centre-back. Very, very commanding in the air. And he's probably something that we are missing currently. So we will go ahead and sign him up. He'll be our first signing of this window. I mean, unless we get a transfer offer for a player, I don't really see us signing anyone else. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. We'll have to wait and see. We got a transfer offer for George Francoum, though, from Bristol City. Bristol City, they've got money. They're in the championship. They know he's a good player. So I've got a feeling if they go in for him with this deal, it's going to be good for both parties, really. 600000 apparently too much, but they only offered 350000 Bit of an insult, in my opinion, really. Jason Banton could be a player that we sign as a left midfielder. Obviously, Barkham, he has been playing well, but we'll have to wait and see, just out of curiosity, if a swap deal will be accepted. We now have a game here against Fulham, though, and it is going to be in the FA Cup. Literally a few days later, we've got this game against Fulham. It may seem a bit stupid. Obviously, that's the one rule in FIFA. Never sim a game away from home, especially when you're coming up against a side like Fulham. But maybe we can get a win. We end up drawing 1-1, so that means we're going to go to a replay match. That's not too bad. Rafik Zucchini is a player that's heavily touted in real life. A very good talent. And I am going to go and make an offer for him. The good thing about this guy is his wages are low. And he's also got four-star skills as well, which is very nice. And if we can bring him in, obviously he would be a like-for-like -like replacement for Barkham. The main issue really is that clubs are demanding ridiculous amounts for their players. This guy, Jason Banton... Worth 575000 And Wickham, they want almost a million for him. I'm sorry, but you can just forget about that. There's no way I'm paying a million. Right, guys, so this is going to be the end of this episode of the AFC Wimbledon Road to Glory career mode. And if you have enjoyed this episode, make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already. In this episode, we've managed to make one signing so far. We brought in Dakovic on a pre-contract. And already this guy is looking like he's going to be a very good signing. He's already worth 800000 and he's going to be worth even more when he joins us. But if you've got any players that you think I should sign, mainly on pre-contract deals, do let me know in the comments down below. But apart from that, guys, I'm going to have to leave it there. And I'll see you next time for another video. Thanks for watching.